Greetings sports fans, ASMR Sports here. Today I'm going to do a video without gum chewing. Uh, primarily because I was about to head to bed and uh, I had already brushed my teeth and I decided to make a video so I don't really want to chew any gum right now. So apologies to those who are diehard gum chewing fans. I know there are many but I also know I do get um, requests for non-gum chewing videos so hopefully this will... Uh, satisfy those folks um first order of business guys uh the nba 2020 uh, mixer break is still um needing to be filled and i would love 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 to get that filled up so we can do the break um before like uh christmas would be ideal let me just show you what's in this mixer we've got a so this is a 15 spot, um, two team per spot break. Everybody will get a kind of a better team and everybody will get a crappier team um, based on like the value of the um, players in that team out of 2020 products. Um, and there's more information in the product link which I'll put in the description where you can buy your spot for, I think it's a hundred dollars. It's like 99 bucks plus um, I think $7.99 shipping and packaging and blah 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 um, unless you order some other stuff and get your order over I think like 150 bucks. This is a bunch of cards um, from 2019 
So yeah, I don't know. I might open one of those one of these days. Those I got from Target. I don't know if they're still available. Um, then I got some uh, Walmart stuff, as uh, baseball stuff. This is a uh, 2020 Bowman Platinum. I'm gonna open something uh, from this bunch. I haven't decided what, but I was kind of thinking this, but now I, I'm talking about that Chronicles. So I kind of wanna dig into that, except I just like Bowman. I don't know. I really like Bowman Platinum. I don't know, appeals to me, because I just like, you know, prospects and stuff, and Chronicles is not gonna have that. Um, this is uh, Topps uh, 2021 Mega Box, so it's got like you know wintry kind of holiday designs. Um, I'm not really a fan of this stuff, but you know when I can pick this stuff up at retail price, I'm gonna do it. So I got whatever it was, like the you know the max they let you buy in a single order. I think it's 12 boxes. So I got my max, and that's kind of it for this stuff. Um, a lot of people like to open these. They think they're super fun. Um, I'm not that excited about it, but I don't know. I might be convinced. Um, then here's uh, just some kind of stuff I got for, I guess, my own, like, I guess, personal collection or personal sort of desires. <laughs> Uh, I really like 80s um, and 70s, like non-sport stuff. I don't have nearly as much of it as I would like. Um, but, and I'm actually just realizing that, like, I don't know, these stacks are different sizes, so I'm going to take these out. I got this box from um, Dave and Adam's Card World. Uh, they sent me a coupon for, like, 50 bucks off $250 purchase and so I bought this and uh, one other vintage non-sport box I'll show you next but first I want to count these packs because um, like one of these stacks like actually is like less uh, tall than, like, I'm not sure what's going on there let's see so it should be 36 packs in here um, one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's probably it. It's probably. It. But then why is this one higher? Weird. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So these are both. This stack and this stack are both nine cards. Or nine packs. But one is like a lot thicker. So I don't know. I guess the rest of these are probably fine. It's weird. I don't know why this one is so short. Um, but uh, anyways, these are Rambo cards. I love Rambo the movie. Who doesn't? Um, packs look a little bit beat up, but not too bad. These are from 1985. Rambo was the second movie in the um, the Rambo franchise. The first one was called First Blood. Uh, that confused me a lot when I was younger. I was like, wait a minute, Rambo's not the first movie. And sure enough, that's true. I think maybe some people called First Blood Rambo because, like, they're kids. You know, they're called the main character instead of the actual name of the movie. But then the second one was actually called Rambo. safely back in um, other other 80s boxes I have are Goonies I have an incomplete box I used to have a complete box but back when that those things were worth like nothing I opened up some packs or like gave them away um, now those packs are worth like a lot um, I mean not like millions of dollars but they're worth I don't know 20 bucks a pack I think so I have a partial box of Goonies I've got, um, gosh, what else do I got? I mean, I got a ton of um, Garbage Pail Kids, but I really like movie ones. Um, 
I've got, oh, A-Team a is a great one. I've got a complete box of A-Team. Um, I've got, like, um, Alien, the movie. That's from, like, 1979, I believe. Um, I don't know. I've got a lot. Someday maybe I'll do a video if you guys are interested in all the vintage boxes I have. But this is a kind of a cool one that I really am super psyched to have. Um, it's a box from the 70s, 1978. You can see that. Um, copyright on there. And then it's got the old style Tops logo, which I think was like basically 1980 and before they used that. And then after that, they adopted the current Tops logo. So yeah, um, this one is wrapped by Baseball Card Exchange, so we won't be seeing inside. And it's, uh, yeah, it's not a, um, from a sealed case. Now these boxes, uh, how many packs? I don't know. I think these still have 36 packs, but they're just a lot, um, skinnier. There must be, like, a smaller number of cards. But anyway, this, this box is in really good condition. It's very sharp. I love John Ritter. He, he was one of my favorite, like, TV actors. Um, anyways, so I'm, I'm super psyched about this box. Uh, what did I pay for these? Um, I think that, like, this one was, like, a hundred and, I don't know, eighty bucks or something. The Rambo was, like, a hundred bucks or something. And I had a coupon for, like, fifty off two hundred and fifty dollars. Alright, so now a couple things that I've recently got in from my distributor. This is, uh, Game of Thrones Iron Anniversary Series 2. I've got some Series 1 as well. I have not opened any of this stuff, I don't think. Um, I've opened some Game of, Game of Thrones stuff, but not these Iron Anniversary cards, which are th new this this year, 2021. So, I don't know if I ever would open these. I mean, it would be fun to get the autos out of here. Um, and doesn't say, but I bet there's like two autos in here, would be my guess. Maybe it's one. Anyways, so I got a few of these boxes, and then, um, I also got a couple of these guys, which are the hot ticket right now. This is Panini. One-in-one -one basketball. Um, you can get the downtown, um, cards, insert cards, out of here, which are very valuable. And they have, like, you know, rookie patch autos, and they have, um... Uh, oh, I forget what it's called, but um, they're like this parallel that's uh, in this set, Timeless Moments or something like that, I think it's called. Um, I'm trying to see if they have it in here, but listed, but I don't see it. But uh, yeah, Timeless Moments they're called, and they have parallels. But anyways, those are kind of cool cards, but the... Uh, word on the street is the production quality of those is not so great like they a lot of them have kind of faded autographs because like the pen they used to sign them was kind of crappy which is Panini's fault because they send out the pens with the cards to get signed so anyways I had two of these I sold one um, and I still have this one and these are going for like 1200 1300 bucks a box um, which is kind of crazy so I won't be opening one of those, I'll tell you that much. Um, Alright, so now what do I want to open today? What do I want to open? It's going to be baseball, I'll tell you that much. Um, Chronicles, or, you know, I'll do the Chronicles, I think, just because somebody had requested Chronicles. Actually, that was a birthday request. Um, this weird knife, I found uh I was digging through some storage I thought yeah I'll use that to open cards um so uh, yeah I I got I got these boxes I think they were like I think they were like 60 bucks a piece um that's the retail price from Target so Chronicles is a product that has many different brands you know, card designs in it. And it's usually a pretty fun rip. Um, not so much this year, because there's like almost no rookies besides Brian Hayes. But I'm, I'm really interested to see what kind of stuff <laughs> 
comes in this product, which is a retail product. You know, it's not hobby. This is really thick, this one. Um, you know, and usually the difference between retail and hobby, like, especially for Chronicles, which histor historically has just had basically, like, um, you know, a hobby box and then a, um, blaster box as the two formats, you know, the hobby box being the hobby and the blaster being the retail. Um, but now they have so many formats of like every product that comes out. I just don't, you don't quite know. And this, I think, I mean, obviously the fact that I got it from Target, so these two are thick, could just be an insert, but, um, you know, the fact that I got this from Target says this is definitely retail, but it's a, it's kind of a format that I'm having a hard time finding something to compare it to, so it might have more numbered cards than we're used to seeing in retail products, so we'll find out. Here we go, Trey Mancini. And what is this going to be? Is it going to be an autograph? No. An Origins. Oh, it is an autograph. Alejandro Kirk. Toronto, didn't he? I feel like he had a decent year. Um, that's kind of fun. It's on-card auto, and it says silver. This is actually a really nice-looking card. I mean, Origins is a pretty pretty fun set. You know, they don't make Origins for baseball. So this product is the only place to get Origins. So there, I guess that's our one autograph. That's pretty, pretty cool. Shout-out to you, uh... Blue Jays fans. Um, here's a nice acetate card here. Alex Kirilov, rookie card, magnitude. That's pretty cool. Kirilov definitely has some potential. We'll probably sleeve that one up. Alright, Luis Camposano. XR. Yeah, I do, I, I, I do think it is really fun to open this stuff just to see all these designs. Even though you can't get you know, well, I didn't know Jose Devers had rookie cards in 2021 stuff I have. I remember his, like, Bowman stuff when he had first Bowman's out. I think I got an autograph of him. Huh. Okay. And he is the cousin of uh, Raphael Devers on the uh, Red Sox, so I think I'll... Uh, Let's leave that up because it's kind of a chrome card. And this is another chrome card crusade. It's a Kiel Badu. Had a really hot streak last year, so I gotta probably sleeve a rookie card of him up. Mookie Betts Obsidian. Obsidian is a, another one of these kind of thicker chromium cards. So I think I'll take. Ooh, what's next? I'll, I gotta, I gotta jump straight to Ted D's. So this is nice, it's really nicely centered, it's a certified brand, the corners look good. Yeah, this is looking real nice, this card. I think that's kind of what you're shooting for is, you know, nice looking examples of Tatis, Guerrero, uh, Otani, Soto, Acuna. That's, um, I think where you want to be in a product like this with a weak rookie glass. You know, who knows, in, you know, two, three years, one of the rookies in here, like that Kirilov, if he uh, has turned in, you know, some high-quality years, I mean, who knows, right? All right, well, we got our first numbered card, so that's exciting. Unfortunately, it's a pitcher, Ian Anderson rookie card. It's a red parallel of the Timeless Treasures set. So, I don't know, I'll pull that out just because it's numbered. Oh, here's, and you know, another, there are a lot of guys in this 2021 class that were rookie class that were, like, hyped up, and Joe Adele is certainly one of them. He had an awful, awful start to his career. I think in 2020, he got brought up in the COVID-shortened year and just kind of was terrible. Um... Another uh, one of those acetate cards. This time it's Acuna. Oh, very nice. Jake Cronenworth is probably one of the better st 
artistically performing um, rookies in this class. Uh, I believe it was him. I got a uh, autographed rookie card out of an optic um, choice box that I opened not too long ago. Um, but anyways, this is a nice, thicker stock card, so I'll take that out, sure. <laughs> Here's Clark Schmidt coming back from a um, injury that uh, made him miss, I think, the entirety of the 2021 season, but he's slated to pitch, I think, uh, you know, not too f deep into 2022, so could be someone to watch. I have a nice autographed um, first Bowman of him that's like a gold or an orange or something. I think it's gold. I think it's currently in a PSA 9 slab. Ooh, this is what I like to see. Titan. Um, I don't know. I don't think that's a parallel. I think I'm wondering if everything's going to be numbered on the front in this product, but anyways. A nice looking um, I don't know if that's gosh, how do I tell what kind of um, parallel? So we're looking for uh, we're looking for obsidian electric etch Carolina blue parallels, two per box I imagine if you got one of those of somebody like Tatis Oh, this is probably it. Yeah, this, I mean, I don't know if this is just a base obsidian, but... Rizzo. Now I... Er, was a Yankee for the end of last year. And Ryan Sandberg, boy, that's the first, like, uh, kind of veteran or, like, uh, retired old school card we've gotten. Okay, now we get a couple of thick packs, guys. I've decided I like this product. I have to say, I, I just love the variety and just seeing, you know, the star play. And it's, it's very rookie and star intense, so you get a lot of um, rookies and stars, and you get to see them in fun designs. All right, Dylan Carlson, then we got like a mega thick card here. Oh, dang, I thought it was going to be Soto. Now this is like that great of a card, but uh, this is weird. It's just like super thick. Look how thick that card is. Trey Turner, all right. What ifs? Javi Baez, Magnitude. Well, uh, two acetates in a row there. Clear Vision, Casey Mize. I'll take him. William Contreras. Zenith. Oh, look at that, our first Mike Trout card. It's a Phoenix. Pretty, pretty nice looking number right there. And Glaber. Oh, Glaber. Glaber, Glaber, Glaber. God, I hope you have a good uh, 2022, both for the Yankees and for my giant collection of um, your cards. So this is, I don't know if this would be another one of those Obsidian Electric Etch. I kind of feel like this crazy design in the back is the Electric Etch. But this is not a bad, you know, Jonathan India, I think was the Rookie of the Year for um, the NL. And, you know, he was a relatively well, highly touted prospect coming in the game. And, like, Nate Pearson's, like, a really good pitcher. So, like, there's definitely talent in this class, but not nothing that has materialized uh, in the major leagues all that significantly, or at least in a way that the hobby seems to care about. So, values of any of the rookies in this product are quite low right now, and that, again, that could change someone gets hot or becomes the next big thing. Oh, finally, we got a Soto, man. I was going to say, we're, I don't think, if we got an Acuna yet? I think, yeah, we did, but we didn't got a Soto. Okay, we got a backwards card. Ooh, yes, that's who we want to have backwards. For that, so I think this is going to be a, um, it's going to be like a, a jersey card. Yep. So that's cool. It's the same kind of card as that last huge thick one, but it's got a jersey piece. So that's really awesome. That's like, you know, I'm sure this is like, you know, at least a $5 card. Maybe it's $10. <laughs> Tristan McKenzie, another like really good young player, good pitcher. Dahlbeck, another guy. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good, but not great 
rookies in here. I mean, they're, they're, these are guys that certainly could be good, or great, I should say. Bobby Delbeck had his moments for sure last year. Cody Bellinger, nobody loves him anymore. Young Jong Yang. Crusade. Tristan McKenzie Phoenix. Taylor Trammell. So this is, um, are all these obsidians that I've been getting, are they, um, like prisms, silver prisms, or not? Because, oh wow, we finally got an Aaron Judge. That's nice. I'm gonna look at the other prisms we got. So that's it, guys. That's uh, the whole box. And I gotta say, for like 50 or 60 bucks, I definitely didn't get that much in value back, but like, it's hard to say that you didn't have 50 or 60 dollars worth of fun, uh, you know, plus whatever the value of the cards. Okay, so all the obsidians, I think, are, um, Break and get a spot so we can fill that up. All right, thanks everybody. We'll catch y'all here. Bye now.